Um, okay. Seems legit. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivy, and today I'm going to be talking about books that should be movies. So you all know the books I'm talking about, like your favorite book, well maybe not your favorite book, but a book that's so good and you like look it up on the internet and you discover that there isn't a movie for it. Sometimes though movies can be a bad thing because like they kind of just ruin it. Sometimes they can be good and you just want to see your favorite characters come to life on screen and it's an amazing experience when it's done well, but we all know what happens when it's not done well. Cough, cough. Percy Jackson. First off, we have Legend by Marie Lu. This has got to be one of my ultimate favorite books. Like, basically, it's set in America in the future, but it's not called America anymore, it's called The Republic, and there's two characters. June, she is a coddled prodigy, and Day, who lives on the streets, and their paths come together, and I just remember <laughs> loving it. It was absolutely incredible. That's honestly all that I remember about it, but it was just so good and it would be such an amazing movie. Like, if this were ever turned into a movie, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be, I would die. <laughs> Next is one that is kind of confusing and I will explain. Percy Jackson, The Whole Series by Rick Riordan. So as you may know, Percy Jackson has been turned into two movies for the first and second books, The Lightning Thief and The Sea of Monsters, and it is a well-known fact that they are trash, which is so freaking sad because Percy Jackson is such a beloved series. And the fact that the movies suck so much just sucks. <laughs> I mean, come on. On. They tried to take a series of five books and fit it into two movies and just no. I used to say that my dream, like my dream goal in life is to re like remake the Percy Jacks movies except this time actually follow the books and like actually try. Next is one that I actually have. Wow, surprising, I know. That is If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wibberly and Austin Siegeman Broca. So this is a contemporary and it follows a girl named Cameron and I believe it's senior year and her reputation is pretty bad. She's really popular but she's known for being kind of a jerk because she is brutally honest. She will tell you how she feels no matter what, even if it's like literally the worst thing to ever come out of anyone's mouth ever. Cameron decides that she's going to try to tame herself because she wants to win this guy's heart. I forget what his name was. Andrew. She wants to win over Andrew's heart, but she kind of finds herself falling for this other guy and she was not expecting that at all. This was so good and it was just the perfect contemporary in my opinion. It was fluffy and happy but also it had parts where I was like wow. But it was so well done and it was full of emotion and love and it just made me really happy. If it were turned into a movie I think it would be great. Next is another one that I own as I try to kick this cord away. Um. Unwind by Neil Shusterman. So this book takes place in America in the future and abortion has been made illegal. However, kids between the ages of 13 and 18 can be unwound, which is when they are harvested for their body parts. I think it would be a really good movie. It was super thought-provoking and I really liked the characters, Connor especially. It follows Connor, Leave, and Risa and I don't know, I think it would just make a really good movie for, you know, like those teenagers out there. It just makes you think. And so next is Red Kayak by Priscilla Cummings. This book was so good. It follows a boy named Brady and his neighbors die in a tragic kayak accident. And I say accident because Brady starts to become suspicious that it wasn't an accident at all. He's actually suspicious of his two best friends and as you can imagine, stuff starts to go wrong. It kept you on the edge of your seat the entire time and it had so many like <gasps> moments and I just loved it a ton and I feel like it had some good messages in there which is always good. I think it would be a solid movie. And the last book that I think should be turned into a movie is Not A Drop To Drink by Mindy McGinnis. This um, follows a girl named Lynn and she has to kill to defend her pond because water is scarce. I just remember... <coughs>
I just remember being completely emotionally destroyed by the end of that book. This, this book, yes. It was just so good, so intense, so dark. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time in another video.